Gordon. Come in. I don't know why you bother calling for him. He must make you late every day. Sammy! Virtually impossible to get him to go to bed at night. Have you tried getting him out of it in the morning? Sammy, are you still in there? No, I'm here. Oh, you little. I don't know what you get up to in that bathroom. Train spotting. Yeah, well, you certainly don't spend your time in there wearing the soap out. Sammy, you're supposed to wash before you put your shirt on. What for? People can't see the grit underneath it, can they? It's a good job for you I'm late for work, Sammy Maguire, or I'd set about that tide mark on your neck with a scrubbing brush and carbolic. Make sure he has a proper wash before you leave. Yeah. Though why I'm asking you, I don't know. You're probably as bad as he is. Yeah, he washes with his jacket on. Yeah, where's your jacket? Uh, it's upstairs. I forgot to put it on. Oh, you haven't still got your pyjamas on under that lot, have you? No. <laughs> Look, I've got to go. I'm late. I'll see you this evening. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye, Gordon. Bye. Oh, lucky she didn't suss on her back the jacket. She would have gone potty. Hello, you're early birds. What brings you to school at this hour? Please, miss, it's about this. About school property? No, it's mine. I know the education cuts have been severe, but as far as I'm aware, the school does still supply you with hockey sticks for games periods. I know, miss, but I just wanted to bring me home. It's for the school trials tonight. Oh, I see. Thing is, we haven't got no lockers this year. All right, she can speak for herself. I can keep it with me for most of the day, but we've got hockey practice later on this morning. And you want me to put it somewhere for safekeeping while you're in the gym? We wondered if you could keep it in the staff room, miss. It's not your hockey stick, you know. How can I put it? I know a hockey stick doesn't take up much space, but there's barely enough room in here for teachers to store their own belongings. If I were to do this favour for you... Well, let's just say that I know I'd be accused of encouraging pupils to use the staff room as a storeroom. Oh, bye. Other teachers, obviously. Yes, and one in particular. Mr. Smart, I'll bet you. Yes, well, never mind who. I'm sorry, Faye. I know it's only a small favour. Unfortunately, there are members of staff who feel very strongly about this sort of thing. It's all right, Miss. I won't want to cause you any trouble. I'm really sorry. She'll be all right about it, your mum. You ain't seen the way she's got the hump. Yeah, well, she can't be as bad as mine. I don't know what she's got to moan about. My girl's always telling what a champ I look like compared to you. Yeah? Yeah. You don't know what it's like having a good example of up to you all the time. <laughs> don't I? Being so lucky you ain't got a cousin called Jeremy. Oh, what's wrong with your cousin? You've heard that song. My perfect cousin. What I like to do. Oh, well, anyway, all I ever get is Jeremy this, Jeremy that. How considerate, smart, good at school he is. Sounds like a wet creep, your cousin. <laughs> yeah, and you think you've got problems. Thing is, miss, we ain't got any lockers. The ones if you keep it in the staff room, miss. You don't know how to put your nose into our people's business, Julie Marchand. She was only trying to help. You're as bad as her. Now what have I done? Bringing your own lockers stick in. It's embarrassing. If anyone finds out, they're going to think you're Flash. That's never bothered you. You're calling me Flash? Stop it, you two. Well, you asked her to drag along with us anyway. But if you're worrying about your hockey stick, I can look after it for you. Hey, come. I got this bruise now on my big toe. Oh, but it's all black and horrible. It is. But it looks worse than it feels. And it gets me off games. I got a note from my mum. Triffy, you sure you don't mind? Now nah, give me something to do. Thanks, Joe. Oh, hang on, let me get in. Okay. Sit on the Come on, let's have the drive out your mind. Come on. I am dumb, Samo. Don't help me, I wouldn't. I don't see why you worry about games, periods. There's lots of sports people can do. Such as? Stop putting. Don't you remember last year's sports trunks? What a show up. Well, weightlifting then. Yeah, you should be good at that. All the weight he carries about. Why don't you copy your teeth for five? Jeremy! Jeremy! Oh, 
Jeremy. Was that the one you was telling me about? The creep. You said that about me? Nah. I was talking about my mum, not him. That must be one of the best fighters in the first year. Oh, so that's how he goes throwing his weight around, is it? No, but it's not the sweet and innocent thing my mum thinks he is. So he's all right then, is he? Yeah. He's the most decent one in their family. Yeah, but he's still got my old badge. Yeah, all right. Look. Do you think you can get it back for him? Yeah, seeing as you do, mate. That it, then? I suppose it is, ain't it? There's not much else I can get you for, is there? Great. How do you think you can get it by lunchtime? Right, we'll bring it round to Zemo's flat. His old girl will be at work. Yeah, you know, Oakfield Flats. Yeah, I know. Number 24. What? Right, come, we're late as it is. The bags, we're in the trolley. Yeah, come on. See you, Yeah. I wonder if she's got the wrong classroom. Don't ask her. I'm not going near her. You seen the spots on her face? Give it a shivers, don't lie. I hope she has got the wrong room. Do I have to look at her every day? Sorry, you can't sit there. It's my desk. Don't apologise. Fetch her well with your rocking stick. Sorry, I didn't know. It's all right. You can get away from there for a start. And the one next to it. Well, go on, move. I don't want you near my desk. It might be contagious. The door's over there if you're looking for the way out. Steady on. What's the hurry? Sorry, miss. Hey, you're shaking. What's wrong with you? What's right with her? You're the new girl, aren't you? Diane. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Nobody's going to hurt oh. you. Not unless you happen to get in the way of these two. Sorry, miss. Didn't know you were standing there. If you were more punctual, you'd have time to walk through the door like civilised human beings. Sorry, miss. I suppose we ought to see about finding a desk for you. Well, go on, sit down. This one here, miss. Oh, thank you, Janet. Before you sit down, Diane, N2, this is Diane Cooney. She's new to the school, and you all know how bewildering that can be from last year. So I hope you'll all try and make her feel one of the class as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. A fat chance of Mandy and Sarah picking on her already. Good. And the next one. Good, Tracy. Well done. Right. Next one. Very good, Faye. Mm -hmm. See, if Faye can do it, you all can. Oh, I like your gym kit. What is it? Do you all sportswear? Do they pay you to model it? Watched all that, did you, Mandy? Yes, miss. So you know what to do when it's your turn? We haven't got to do that as well, have we, miss? It's all right for Faye. She's good at anything like that. She's good because she's got a positive attitude. It's no use flinching from this apparatus. You've got to attack it, like Faye. Now, there's nothing to be frightened of. I'm here to catch you. All right, Faye, once more, please, for the benefit of those who weren't watching the first time. Good hard run, attacks that board and over. Simple. Well done. All right, Annette, let's see what you can do. Harder run the run up and you'll make it over. All right, Janet. Good, well done. All right, N2, I'm just going to have a quick word with Miss Mooney. I want two girls to take my place while I'm gone. We will, Miss. We will, Miss. All right. Mandy, Sarah. Sarah in front, Mandy behind. Diane's next. OK. Sorry to interrupt, but I've just had a message about this evening. Oh, don't tell me. The hockey trials are off. Yes. There's a governor's meeting, and they don't want to have the children about. And it's been rescheduled for a fortnight on Tuesday. Get up, get up. Get up! Don't you know better than that? When someone's had a fall, you don't pull them about, right? You are right. Of course she is. Go on, get back in line. I think there's something... What's happened? She didn't take off properly, miss, and we couldn't catch her. Come on, on your feet. Walk about a bit. Hmm. Well, you seem all right. 
Okay, everyone, back in line. Hurry up. Right, next. I can't see why you're so moody. You don't even like cocky. So why should you wife if the trials are in two weeks' time? Because now they'll be on the same day as our field trip. So you don't even go to that either? I know, but I've got a weather knife. We all leave. Not Faith. She's got a choice. And I know what she'll choose. Lucky trials. It's obvious, isn't it? I didn't want to go on a boring old trip anyway. Now I have to go on my own. I don't see how you can work that out when the rest of the class will be there. Hey, Cooney. Is that right that your last school's in quarantine? Because the creeping lurgy you spread about with your pimples. That is some skinny. Eh? Don't think I don't know what you're up to in that gym, making out that you were hurt. I was hurt. Putting it on more like, trying to get us into trouble with Miss Saunders. I saw what happened. You dropped her on purpose. You're lucky she didn't break nothing. Miss Saunders found out, she would have gone berserk. Are you going to tell her? Just leave her alone, all right? Or you'll do what? You want to learn to mind your own business, Faye Lucas? Are you going to teach me? Why not? There's two of us. And there's two of us. Are the showers running just to wash the tiles, or are some of you actually going to get under them? We'll get Lucas when Julie's not around. No, that's all right. Don't thank her. She'll stick up for you again when you're in trouble. You're not being grateful, is it? She's just shy, that's all. Anyway. Where was you just now? You didn't need me once you started waving you with that hockey stick. Where is it? What? The hockey stick. You've got it. No, I must have left it somewhere. Oh, don't say that. It can't be far. I had it a minute ago. Well, it looks like someone else has got it now. You sure you didn't leave it in the gym? Positive. You must have seen me sitting there with it. Hey, what, what on earth do you think you're doing, Julie Marchant? Please, miss. Faye's hockey stick, it's gone missing. Oh, and that gives you the right to throw everybody's clothes around, does it? It can't be far. I had it a minute ago. It could be in a gym. No. Look, you don't seem to know where it is, and as your next class is in five minutes, you really haven't got time to look for it now. But, Miss, if That's I... enough, Julie. Now, I want you changed and out of here as quickly as possible. Miss? We well, can't look now. Could I have permission to come back at lunchtime? Just me and Faye. Well, I don't see why not. Now, come on, get a move on. Thanks, Annette. That's all right. What are friends for? For your friends, that is. Shall I ask Miss Saunders if I can help too? Don't bother. The more of us, the better. Not really, if you know where to look. Please, Miss. We want if we can help you out in fair lunchtime. All right, just you two. No more. Come on, girls, you've got two minutes. Rodney Bennett back as well. How do you manage all this? I've got my methods. Get going, Jonah. Put it there, pal. Mind you, I didn't think I'd be able to get round it at one point. Why? I thought I'd dash it after me, didn't I? Dash it? It's a job we did for Williams. Absolutely clueless. You'd never write much about it in his lesson, and all of a sudden, it'd do his pieces. He stands up, goes red in the face, spit coat outside his mouth, and shouts, Why, that's it. it! Anyway, me and a couple of kids were brought in a ball down the corridor at break. He came bowing out right after us. Why, that's it! He ran to the playground and tried to lose herself among all the other kids. Did he catch her? No, nah, he came bowing out right past. See, what did I tell you? Same in their school. We're just a bunch of uniforms to them. Yeah. I bet we could go back to Rodney Bennett this afternoon and still not get sussed. Yeah, probably. No way. You can forget that for a start. Come on, Zama, it's a great idea. No. What's the matter with you two? You're mad, do you know that? I bet we get away with it. What, spend the afternoon at Rodney Bennett in Jeremy's class? Yeah. His side of family were always a bit touched. Look, your first year's new to school, right? Right. It's going to be weeks before I start matching your faces to names in the registers. With Rodney Bennett badges on, why should they think that we're from Grange Hill? Why are you forgetting something? What? 
Grange Hill? No, we're from Grange Hill. So I was bound to miss us. I wouldn't be so sure. With all the staff shortages, we'd be too busy looking for teachers to take this afternoon's lessons. They probably won't even notice we're missing. What if they do? One of us was ill. The other one had to take him home. That's it. There's a different street of insanity in his lot. All right, then, if you two are both chicken... Who's chicken? Yeah, I ain't chicken. Yeah, well, it don't sound like it, does it? Just don't think we're gonna get away with it, all right? Look, you know that shopkeeper who slung you out of his shop the other day? The one that that Grand Duke kid's in? Yeah, that's him. I bet you let's shoot him now you've got this badge on. Don't be silly. It's gonna match up with his face, isn't he? Yeah, well, if he does, we'll give the idea up. But if he serves you, we'll go to Rodney Bennett for the rest of the afternoon. Deal? Deal. I'm still not convinced that Julie didn't leave it in the girls' gym. OK, you go and look in the gym room. I'll check the change rooms and I'll see you down there afterwards. All right. Well, don't worry. I've got a feeling that it's going to turn up. It's coming. Well, fruit gums or chocolate? Julie going frantic looking for that this morning and you find it straight off. Makes you wonder, don't it? What are you doing now? Actually, we went to have a quiet word with Lucas. But this will do nicely. Now what form room are we in? One something one. One A one, this is useless. What do you want all these stupid numbers for anyway? All right, all right. Look, it's 1A1, boy. Right? I know that, so ask me something else. Headmaster, Mr. Rathbone, see? No problem. I can handle it. You might be able to, but he can't. Phone room. What about it? Where is it? Actually, I know. I've never been there before. Look, we're not prepared enough. Don't worry about him. He still gets lost at Great Jill. We'll be all right. Listen, there must be something in your class who's absent today. Paul and David Riley, they've got chicken pox. So? We'll be them then. But they're twins. So? No one's going to notice. And they're black. Oh. Surely there's someone else in your class who's absent today. Not that I can think of. Oh, let's give it a miss. What? You're turning back? No, not unless you two are. Are you? It's up to you. No, I'm not. Come on, then. Are you going to give that to me or do I call Faye? Call her, by all means. I'd love to see her face when we took as you hid her hockey stick. What are you going to do with it? I'm not sure yet. Quick trip down to the boiler room? Yeah, I reckon it's make a nice place. Don't you? You can call Faye if you like. Then she'd want to know how we got hold of the stick in the first place, wouldn't she? Till we see Faye. I won't say anything if I was you. You can't stop me. No, and you can't stop me telling me someone is what really happened in the gym this morning when you were supposed to catch Diane Cooney. Faye wouldn't tell on you. She's not like that, but I would. Oh, and if Faye finds out about a rocky stick from anyone else, I know it was you two, and I'll tell me Saunders just the same. I didn't it, didn't you? I didn't know, but I thought you might have done. I suppose you're going to tell Faye now. Oh, that'd make sense, wouldn't it? After I just stopped Mandy and Sarah from opening their mouths. 
I'm not trying to take Faye away from you, you know. Oh, no. It just looks that way, because she's more friendly towards me than you are. I want to be friends with you both. And what if I'm not interested? Will you still keep quiet about all this? Why not? Faye's your best friend. I don't want to stir things up between you. Julie? She's in the gym. Tell her you found it behind a boiler or something. So I thought my eyes weren't deceiving me. Who are you? Jeremy Irving, sir. He's my cousin, sir. He goes to this school. That's his classroom. I see. You're a long way from yours, though, aren't you, Jones? Sir. You do realise you're in the wrong building, then? Sir? Yeah. Well, I had to pop over here to uh, borrow some five-a-side goals. You know, can't afford our own. The cuts. Well? Sir? Well, I've given you the reasons for my presence here. Now, perhaps, if it's not too much trouble, you'll give me yours. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, we've come to Bruce Saint and all, sir. Oh, what a coincidence. Yes, sir. A, a book from Jeremy. You'd better go and fetch it, then, hadn't you, lad? A book? Yes, sir. Any particular kind of a book? Yeah, well, Jeremy goes to Rodney Bennett, sir. Uh, uh, I think we'd established that fact. Yeah, well, he's doing the same course as us. So I was going to borrow his book, cos Granger haven't got enough to go round, sir. Is that a fact? Yes, yeah, sir, it's all to do with the cuts. You trying to be funny? No, sir. He said it's OK as long as I get it back to him by tonight. That explanation is about as clear as mud. It's quite clear, really, sir. No, oh, no, 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 don't tell me again. You just tell me the name of the book. The name of the book? What it is called. Um. Uh, start in German, sir. Oh, you found your tongue, have you? Sir. Reckons he Deutsch, eh? Actung, actung, Spitzfeuer. <laughs> Never mind. I don't envy you having him for a cousin, son. Go on, push off. Ah, ah, ah. Not you two. I haven't quite finished with you. I can handle it. Could you me and Jeremy knew what we was doing on the book business, weren't it? Smart thinking, eh? Oh, yeah. Starting German, smart thinking. He was lucky he was back through kindness. Why? Well, his interests don't go beyond the school playing fields and the gym tour. Any other teacher would have known, but don't do German till you are third year. <laughs> You can see the next episode of Grange Hill on Tuesday at 5.15.